Jake, any funny Paul Bearer stories? Oh, yeah. I, I, got, I, I got one for you. We were in uh, the Poconos, and uh, it was wintertime. There's snow everywhere and everything. And we go up there, and we're doing a wrestling show at this big ass hotel that had all these honeymoon suites in it. And they gave each one of the wrestlers a honeymoon suite. Mm -hmm. So I go to breakfast the next morning and Paul Bear comes in. Jake, may I sit with you? <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> sure, Paul, sit down. Oh, what a horrible night. I'm like, what's wrong, man? Oh, my wife. Oh, my God. I don't know what I'm going to do. What the fuck, man? Y'all breaking up? What? <laughs> oh, it's worse than that, Jake. Like, Would she die? You know? <laughs> He's like, no, God, no. It might, might actually help. You know, I'm like, what the fuck, man? What's going on? He's like, last night I went to that lovely room. And I took a sauna and a steam and, and got into the, the heart-shaped bathtub, laid in that, got out, drank some champagne, and then I kicked back on that big heart-shaped bed, and I look up at the fucking mirror on the ceiling, and I look at my body and <laughs> my gross fucking shapes. Couldn't find my dick. And I thought to myself, what fucking woman would fuck that? <laughs> Jake, I'm married to a sick bitch. <laughs> it's horrible. <laughs> I don't know what I was expecting when I asked for a Paul Bear story, but that there was it that, is, that, man. that was something else. <laughs> I mean, our, our our listeners got their money's worth out of that one. Uh, Jake, your your impressions. I hear all the time online that people love your Macho Man impression. Paul oh, yeah. Bear impression, underrated. Oh, yeah, I don't put it out there much. 